Good morning. Welcome in. My name is Ryan. I'm one of Pastor Carrie's sons, and I'm just so thankful that I get to spend a few minutes with you in God's Word growing in this faith journey that we're calling Wilderness Survival Guide. My dad, Pastor Carrie, has been taking us through this great devotional. It's been so powerful, so meaningful, and God's really been building my faith muscles as I really try to think through, Lord, what does it mean to have endurance? Lord, what does it mean to flee from temptation? Lord, what does it mean to set up guardrails in my life and stay strong on this faith journey? And it's been really good. I hope you've gotten so much out of it. If you're just now joining us, it's not too late to go back and read and watch the other devotionals that just started a few days ago. But Wilderness Survival Guide, it's been one of the most challenging, most important devotionals that we've done so far, and it just keeps getting better. Hey, if you're not part of the Woodlands Church Family Facebook group yet, you need to join. If you're here watching this, type in Woodlands Church Family into Facebook, and we would love to connect with you, to pray with you. We have a church family that is here for you, whether you're here in Houston or watching from the other side of the world. Well, today's devotional was really good. It was simple, short, but so profound. Here's what it said. Turn to me and have mercy on me because I am lonely and hurting. This is Psalm 25, verse 16. And this is when King David is at the height of his popularity. He's doing all these great things. People love and adore him, but he feels lonely and he feels broken. And I don't know where you're at in your life today, but we live in a pandemic of loneliness. We live in a world that is disconnected in many ways, in a, in a world that is isolating. We've told ourselves that we can exist without other people and we don't need community. And that is wrong. It's not true. We were designed to live in community, whether that's across a screen or person to person. We have to be united and you have to have a group of people around you that are pushing you forward, that are making you stronger. And that's what I'm trying to do for you today. But I want to encourage you that you are not alone. There are people who are here for you. Some of us are in very deep, deep pits of loneliness, deep pits of depression. And I want to pray over you today and let you know that you are not alone today, that God loves you more than you could ever comprehend. That sometimes I wonder if we just knew how much God loved us, how much differently would I act, would you act every single day? I know it would dramatically impact the way that I live, the way that I love, the way that I act throughout my day if I really lived out of the love that God has for me because I would know that I was not alone. There's some practical tips that this article gives us, uh, some practical, really, advice from King David himself. And one of the things is, Lord, tell me your ways. Show me how to live. So when you're feeling really, really alone, when you're feeling down, or maybe you're at a roadblock in your life, it's so important to just give it over to God and say, God, I give up my feelings to you. Will you please show me how to live? Will you please show me what I'm missing? Because something is missing here and I can't identify it. And that's always a great place to start is just saying, Lord, I give it over to you. So if you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling like you're at an impasse, if you feel like you're hitting a wall today, I really, really encourage you after this video, take just a few moments to really hand over your insecurity, your uh, lack of direction to God, because he has all direction. He has all purpose. He has all wisdom. And he can give some of that to you. He's willing to give it to you, but you have to be willing to ask. So I want to encourage you with that. And then the next thing it says is the Lord is good and right. He points sinners the right way. So that's an encouragement and reminder that God is going to give you direction if you will ask for it. That's in verse 8 of this, uh, of this prayer. And one more thing that he says is he shows those who are humble how to do right. He teaches them his ways. So it's so important to have that spirit of humility and just say, Lord, I'm broken, I'm alone, I don't have direction, I need something today, and ask for it, but ha ask for it with a spirit of humility, a spirit that says, Lord, you are greater than me, you are more than me, come to him in a spirit of worship, and that will make a huge difference. And so I just wanna encourage you, you're not alone today. There is a community of people who would love to connect with you, who would love to talk with you, and sometimes the hardest thing is just taking that small step of faith and saying, I'm gonna risk awkwardness, I'm going to risk writing the message. I'm going to risk saying the text. I'm going to risk the phone call. I'm going to risk connection and risk that awkwardness because I know that God wants me to be in community. And I guarantee you that's one of the biggest faith challenges that God has shown me this week through this devotional is he's saying, Ryan, you have to take a step of faith to connect with others if you want to grow because the Christian life cannot be lived alone. It has to be lived in community. That's the way you grow. And so I want to encourage you, Today, that's probably a small act of connection, whether it's a message, a phone call, a conversation, whatever it is, maybe it's just join the Facebook group today. Some point of connection that God is challenging you to do to, to stray away from isolation and towards interaction, to stray away from loneliness and towards true relationship and true 
meaning. And so really so much of life comes from loving others. It's all about loving. And so I would encourage you, you are loved, you are important, you are special, and you are loved more than you could ever imagine by Jesus Christ. And so you're part of a family, you're part of a church family that's praying for you. We love to hear your prayer requests in the comments. If you want us to pray for you, we would love to do that. Our church pastors and volunteers are here to pray with you. And of course, if you want to join the Facebook group, we would love to pray with you there as well. And then this weekend, we're having church uh, at the Woodlands campus, at the Atascacita campus, and at the online campus. There are so many great ways to serve, to stay connected, and we are all about loving each other, and you are part of that. So thank you for being here. Thank you for this time. And I want to encourage you, God bless you today. Dear God, bless the person on the other, sin other side of this video. Let them know their love. Let them know that they matter. And please bless them today as they go throughout, the throughout their day. Help them to love others and have a heart and compassion for others. May I pray? Amen.